So first off, I'm going to start off by creating a form to store all the token data that will be minted later on. Click Save. So for a minted token, there are several fields that will be required. Alright, that should suffice for our token data. So I'll save the form and to for our convenience I'll also generate a CID component to help speed it up. Okay, so now I'll come back to the App Studio and now we also need another form for end users to fill up their token information to mint. There will be a minter for each of these tokens, so I'll use a select box. I'll name it as minter. We'll just load the account data from an existing form that we already have. Now, there are some basic information about a token that we need to fill up. So of course, once again, we need to know the token name. symbol okay so this is all we need also from this form we can click save now I'll come back to our app studio and we'll create a process to help us mint that fungible token. So I'll add a new process and I'll change the name accordingly. And for this, once again, it will be a tool to help us mint. And another tool to expose the transaction ID into our form later on. So for this starting point, I'm going to select the mint token form that I have. And for this tool, I will now take advantage of the Hedera Min token tool. And now we just need to fill out all this information accordingly. So for the token properties, I will reuse the mint token form. The minting account will define it as such. For the account mnemonic race, we'll reference it to our account data that we already have, so we'll make use of the form hash variable so as we scroll down we can just select to mint a fungible token and just map all these fields accordingly Alright, so if you have any changes that you wish to make to your token keys, such as who is able to freeze or why the token, who can able to pause transactions and so on, you can change them on here. But for now, we can just leave it as is. 
and this is where we saw our token data into this form so at this point it's also just a matter of mapping them to their respective fields click save now if you wish to expose the transaction id into the form we can also do that in here and we can also once again drag in another text field and since this is not an editable field i can also just set it as a read only field now i can come back here scroll down and drag in a Hedera Explorer link element and just configure as such. Okay, so once we have the field necessary, we can now come back, edit our mint fungible process. And just in case, I should rename this tool. So once again, we will be making use of the update form data tool to update the transaction ID field. And this should point to the workflow variable. Apply the change and save the process. And now for the final step, we just need to come back to our UI and expose the function by dragging in a run process menu. Point it back to our mid fungible token process and save the UI. Alright, so at this point we are ready to try out our app, so I'm going to click launch. We go here and click on min new token and now I will just fill in the information accordingly. and just click submit so at this point our token will be minted and when we come back to manage token details we can see now we have all the necessary information such as the token id and now to see all the history of our minted tokens we can come back to our app studio go to mint token form and generate aciud from this form so once we have done that now we can just simply come back to our runtime and refresh so now we can see all the history of our mints and here's the transaction ID of this token mint and we can verify on hash scan. And here we go. Just like that, we have created tokens.